Hello YouTube. Let's check out every variation of the Greenlight 2018 Nissan Titan. Uh, these all might be the XD and XD Pro. Looks like it. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, eight, eight, nine, well, eight variations of it. I know there's a new one in the newest Tokyo Torque that was just released. So it's been released a ton in the Tokyo Torque. And we have a green machine we'll take a look at. I only have one green machine variation. I only needed one green machine variation. And of course it was a green bodied green machine. So let's go ahead and start cracking all these open. The first one is a 2018 Nissan Titan XD Pro uh, 4x. I'm not going to say that every time because the next nine times you're going to know it's a Nissan Titan. This is Blue Collar Series 5. Now I had not picked up any of these Nissan Titans. Kind of been holding out. I really like the casting. I think they did a really awesome job. Wasn't expecting to go after every variation. Very heavy casting. Metal base. No opening hood. Lens headlights though. Which is awesome that they just came out with this casting last year. And they put lens headlight. Because recently they've been cheaping out on the lens headlights a lot. And it has an hitch. Painted tail lights. Next one is from the All Terrain Series 8. I really like this, like, burn orange color. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a long time. I'm going to start uploading my regular series again. And I'm going to add at least one if not two more series. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Alright, this one. The side mirror was broke off in the plastic. So I got to make sure I don't lose that. And I'll glue it back on and you can see here it broke off the driver's side it was not for me pulling it out of the package the all-terrain series is a pretty cool series uh, I think I'm going to start going after certain series. I've stayed away from doing that with green light and just collecting what I really like. So the next one is one I wasn't going to get at all. It was the last one I purchased because it was the last one I needed at the time. This is Tokyo Torque Series 6. And it's a BF Goodwrench Nissan. But now since I have it, and compared to all the other ones, it might be one of my favorite ones. Just from looking around with them, the ones out of the package already and the ones still in, this might be my favorite. It's 
kind of in the Brie race colors. And the Tokyo Torque, it's, I don't know, I mean, I like the packaging. I got all of the first series and all of the second series, but they were repeating the same car in the series. They've even done it with this truck. This is Series 6. So both of these came out in the same series. So, they're just... They don't have enough uh, Tokyo cars to really do a series like this. They should have introduced a lot more castings. Uh, I just... It's a lot of repeats and recolors over and over and over again. I was hoping for a lot more new castings when they came out with the Tokyo Torque. But, I mean, just right here, four of them are from the Tokyo Torque series. Three of the regular versions and then the green machine. So, but man, something about this racing livery on this I'm sure it wasn't a race vehicle but I'm sure it was a support vehicle for a race team be careful with your mirrors guys they stick out real far on this and they're plastic I wish they would do the Toyota Tundra they did this now let's do the Toyota Tundra Let's go ahead and knock out all the Tokyo Torques. This is the other variation from Series 6. I'm done saving any of my plastic. I'm recycling all this stuff. I hope they recycle it. But I'm throwing it in the recyclables. Same with these, I used to save them, I'm not anymore. You can't tell what car came in this. And I didn't notice that until I started going through them. Unless it has an insert in it. But, I don't know. At one time I used to store the cars in them. But then I just started displaying the cars and these just started filling up boxes. So I just threw away probably a thousand, fifteen hundred of these. Looks pretty good in this color variation. Like that orange and black stripe down there by the rocker. And the next one, this was one I wasn't going to get. Because I wasn't going to go after every variation. But I did like enough of them. I ended up having almost every variation. So, this is Series 7, Tokyo Torque. I really didn't like this blue color at first. But you know what? There's really not a vehicle out there, that, like a Corvette or something really cool, Mustang, that you can't find in this blue color. People even get them wrapped in this blue color, like Street Speed 717. He has both his Corvettes wrapped in one of these. Blue color. This one, it looks kind of glossy on camera but it's it's satin it's it don't really have a gloss to it like how they all have like a spray sprayed on bed liner really nice
put his mirror right there in his bed. Good thing about a truck. Throw all kinds of stuff in the bed. Next is one I think is might be my favorite. Next to this one. It's probably the satin or flat black from Black Bandit Collection Series 21. Holy cow, 21. Oh, that's really not that high. They have series that are way higher. Look at their Hot Pursuit. I think it's Series uh, 32. Series 32. Black Bandit's one I go back and forth with. Uh, it would be cool to have them all, I think. But... This one definitely looks awesome in the flat black. Really, really awesome looking. Definitely right there with my favorite. I really like the flat blue one too. Satin blue. That looks pretty sharp. Then we got two from the Hitch and Toe. This one is from Series 19. Hitch and Toe, Series 19. So quite a few series of the Hitch and Toe. Definitely one I would not go after. Uh, I, I want to know what to do with all the trailers. They take up too much room storing them. And a lot of them are the same trailer released over and over again. So I don't know what you would do with all them trailers. You'd have to have a huge display area. I mean, just the plastic alone that these come in is huge. It's probably equal to at least two if not three normal plastics. This truck's really hard to get out. First time I ever saw the gooseneck trailer come with a truck that's not a dolly I think. Truck looks really awesome though. I'm gonna try and get out the hitch and stuff because it goes in the bed. Hopefully everybody's doing well and everybody's healthy and everybody's family's doing well. Hopefully you were able to enjoy some time at home throughout all this. Uh, I continued to work. We did not get off. Uh, they did lay off the employees for a little bit, but they kept the uh, maintenance workers. So. Hopefully we everybody's back up to normal soon, and uh, hopefully things get better. Definitely a strange time we're living in right now. I mean, nothing like this has ever happened before in history. I mean, it has, with, but we didn't have the technology to shut everything down and stay home like we did. I don't know. All kinds of conspiracies behind it, too. Just don't know what to believe. But the most important thing is that everybody's safe and healthy. And that we can return to normal soon. Well, actually, when I was putting the trailer together, because you got to put the ramps on it and stuff. Let's see, 
really nice trailer. So the ramps clip on. They got the tail lights and things painted on the underside. And then they flip up and out. So they can load a car cars on here. Oh, popped off. That's why it's better just clip them on and leave them. And then you got the trailer here, gooseneck, has legs on both sides that fold down. Uh, the neck's adjustable, so if the truck is lifted or something, it still works on it. Dolly's rubber tires, trailer base is metal. Wood is plastic insert, but man, it's really nice looking wood. Highly detailed. This is all plastic up here. But it still has weight to it. Probably about, weighs about as much as a vehicle would, I guess. Uh, we'll put the this one on there. Pretty awesome looking. Alright, let's crack open the other one now. And this is Hitch and Toe Series 16. So they actually skipped a couple series. I don't know if I'm missing a couple. Maybe 17 and 18 had a Nissan Titan. I don't know. I was thinking this was a, every variation. Lots of plastic. All these will take up a little section on my green light shelf where I can display all my Nissan Titans. Instead of taking up all of that that the packaging took up, which was a lot. And then this one comes with a dump trailer, I think. Oh yeah, it's a dumper. Got swinging doors. It's heavy. Doors are plastic, but everything else is die cast metal. The frame and the box here. Nice mechanism too. Very similar to the scissor mechanism one of these probably would have. Where you have an assisted cylinder. Cool. And a little screw thing. Make sure you don't throw that away. I think I've done that before. Has a extension piece for it, which this is plastic. Really cool. Well, that hitch is a little crooked. Alright, this hitch is plastic. Base is metal. I thought the other one was... Huh. There we go. <laughs> Saw that coming. Alright, let me cut the hitch out real quick. Put it there by it. 
And let's crack open the green machine. Tokyo, Tokyo Torque Series 6. I think they're on Series 8 now. And I'm thinking about buying Series 8, getting all six vehicles. Which I told you I had Series 1 and 2. I think 1 and 2 I have all the green machines too. I'm thinking Series 1 and 2, they were all green-bodied green machines. Series 3, they changed it up. This one's metal, not glued in place and really loose. The other one was plastic and bent. The other one we looked at it's plastic too. I was thinking it was metal. I like the black hitch. This one is the most realistic looking one. It actually looks like a hitch and a receiver. The camera won't focus, it's too small. And I think it's a green machine variation of this one. Pretty sure. Yes, it is. Because they both have that on the tailgate. Personally, I definitely prefer the green body green machine version than the regular. So there you have it. A look at every... Green light Toyota Tundra up until Tokyo Torque Series 8. Plus, I might be missing a couple others. Let me know down in the comments. I'm sure somebody watching will know if I'm missing any others. Uh, will I continue to pick up the Toyota Tundra? I'm not sure. I might. I really love them, too. Because they're just... A very normal looking truck uh, I just think green light did a really good job with this casting I have always collected green light Chevy Silverado's green machine variation regular variation I've tried to get them all it's impossible to get them all I probably don't even have half and they're cheap and they're easy to come by and easy to get it's just they made so many of them it is just really really hard to even try and keep up well their newest Silverado which is a lot like the Auto World's newest Silverado casting they both have uh, painted headlights and they're just painted one solid color and it's very disappointing uh, at least put a decal on there like freaking Hot Wheels and Matchbox do for a dollar that makes it look like a detailed headlight come on listen to us collectors uh, if anybody's watching who has any kind of importance or influence over that like lamely come on lamely uh champion djk you know lamely uh we need to reach out to hot wheels and to green light well i know lamely ain't gonna reach out to green light but uh people on his blog might uh but something needs done the lens headlights is awesome when they put an orange decal behind it to make it look like a turn signal or LED just absolutely amazing we don't want a gray blob I might go after every variation of this just because I like the headlights and I think it's very well done uh, sorry little rant there at the end of the video but Make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to tune in to many, many more videos. Have an awesome weekend. Stay safe. Bye.